Is Snow Waving Bear the first one here? My, my computer will not let me into the live today. Uh, here we go. Trying out at your last watercolor block. Woohoo! Yay! All right, we're going live. Small Waving Bear is here. Well, my day can start. Small Waving Bear is here. All right. I am in live chat. Um, wow. And our friends have arrived. Hey, everybody. How's it going? Good morning. Shadow Kit says, hi, Scott. How are you? I'm doing okay. I don't like drawing cars very much. We went from 15 to 197. Like that. Good morning, Screaming Frog. Hi, hey, Screaming Frog. How are you today? I'm not too late for once. Janet says hi, Scott and Donna. Hello. How's it going? So, okay, I'm going to butcher your name, but I'm going to try it anyway. Anyway. Sub, Subradeep? Good morning to you. We're all like cars. How are we doing? Cars are awful to draw. They are. They're not very, very fun. So Good this morning. is a picture I took in London. Art, Art Gal says you are such an inspiration to me. Hi. Oh, thank you. Oh, the not so ugly duckling is in summer school right now. Ooh. Don't get us in trouble. And this is the watercolor block, one of the uh, ones that Etcher Lab sent me. Mm -hmm. Now it's only. 50% cotton paper, so I wonder how it's going to work. We will see. Can you suggest the best pencils for sketching? I think any number two pencil, like like just like a number two pencil is fine. Um, and then after that, you kind of find if you like stuff, like I'm using a 4H, which is really hard, so that way um, I can erase it easily. Bethany's here, and the mods are here, and she says ringers are running. Yay. Good day from Australia. That's Ethan. Good day. We are doing landscape this morning. Steph and here does morning, everyone. I'm doing landscape in portrait mode. Scott is not good at drawing hands. You, bruh, you should know that. <laughs> My name is Grace, and I love your videos so much. Hi, Grace. Thank you. Um, Steph Nerd says happy Monday. It is a happy Monday. It is Independence Day in the United States, so everything is closed today. You know, post office banks, all the, you know, the things are closed. How do you like your eggs? Good question. Um, both scrambled and sunny side up. I like them nowhere near me so they don't kill me. I'm allergic. She used to love eggs. Yeah, I'm allergic. Um, how is Donna today? Donna is good. I have two giant cups of tea next to me. I have a puppy over here next to me who has a little bit of a wounded foot. I think she sprained something in her foot. She's very silly. And um, I'm good. I'm good. It is a good morning. How are your guys? Hopefully your guys are doing well. Um, they are healing slowly. I want this stream so much. My school day made me depressed. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. Oh, to draw us. I'm sorry. Hello from Thailand. Hello. Wow, so, nice picture. Thanks. So in this picture, you guys could see this building is getting construction on it. And I don't want to do all of that stuff. That just is not very pretty. So I'm just going to pretend that there's a building there. So I'm going to probably just try my best at just doing a generic kind of building. I'm trying to be a good artist like you. I am at 51 subs so far. Tell me oh, I'm doing good. That's doodler cat. I'm sure you're doing amazingly well. Your vids inspire me so much. Also from Grace. Um, let's see. I'm tired and dehydrated, says Nameless Entity. <laughs> well, you should be able to easily fix one of the two of those with a big glass of water. Don't make me moan you. You know I can. A loaf of potatoes says, hi, you're my favorite YouTuber and my biggest inspiration. Oh, hello. And Nixie is here. Hey, Misty. How's it going? You need to feel better. I think she has a headache. Aww. Um, Bia says, you guys make me so happy. You have helped me so much with watercolors. That's Mia. 
Oh, that's great. Um, I'm guilty of taking pictures to make into art and then never making them into art. Yeah. <laughs> same here, same here. What is the newest video game you ever helped make? The newest video game I ever helped make. Mm -hmm. God, what was the last game I worked on? Was it the Aliens vs. Predator? No. Well, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, it was Aliens vs. Predator, which is in the late 90s for the PlayStation. Wow. This person was not very nice in their comment. So I'm going to ignore you. Um, that's what happens when you're not nice. Don't be not nice to Donna. We have to ignore you. Um, hello from New York. Hello from India. Hello from Israel. Hello from Japan. Wow. My gosh, you guys are from everywhere. Today. Hello from the Hobbit Hole. Yeah. Hello, Art Father. <laughs> <laughs> hello. You know what? I think I'm going to be fun and put a little tree here. That should help. I just entered with, how do you like your eggs? And thought, that's very personal to ask. Ha -ha, I thought of X instead of eggs. You're so um, let's see. Hi from Mexico. Hi from Sri Lanka. You, you didn't miss anything, Gremlin. We just started. Yeah. Scott is just sketching. Massimo wants to know, how are you so good at art? Oh, um, well, I don't think I'm very good, but that said, uh, a lot of practice definitely helps. Um, honey, what type of pencil are you holding in your hand right now? I'm not. I'm holding a pen. Okay. Well, pick up the pencil and show everybody what pencil that was that you sketched that beautiful drawing with. It is a 4H pencil, and um, there is a link to it in the bio. Thank you. There you go, guys. 4H Faber Castell pencil. Um, let's see. You inspire me every day to grow more and more, and I grow better every day. That's credit karma. Oh, that's cool. Um, Meredith wants to know if you have any tips on how to draw fireworks. I get a wonderful view from my bedroom, and I want to sketch them. Ooh, fireworks. Um, well, firework, fireworks are light against black. So you're going to have to, if you're going to do it with pencil, um, you're really going to have to... Uh, Find a piece of paper. Oh, the type of tea this for the morning is the Herod Strong Breakfast Tea, and the other cup is the Pittsburgh Breakfast Tea. Strong and smooth like steel. <laughs> you can tell which one. <laughs> If you're doing fireworks, you know, the fireworks are going to kind of look like this. Or it could be just a, you know, just a big explosion. But it, you really... The way I would do it, probably, if it was just pencil, is to do this. And then take your eraser. Oops, I need it. Take your eraser and kind of build it out like that. But of course you can go much darker with your pencil first. This is just really quick, but I would use the eraser. And then that's what you're looking for is the white uh, against the dark. You're looking for that contrast. But I mean, if you were going to um, do it with paint, obviously, you know, you're gonna, it depends on the medium. It depends on if it's watercolor or gouache or acrylics. Every every one's going to be a little different. Um, Lauren says, "Good morning, Scott and Donna. Any words of wisdom to start off the morning?" Oh, um, let's see. You can't control everything that's going on in the world, so focus on just being a good person and trying to make what little difference you can with people around you. Um, coming from Sydney, Australia. That's Kremlin Booger. Let's see. All right, so um, let's see here. Let's see. 
I, I tried drawing digitally years and years, like decades ago, uh, but I didn't really like it. But I'm going to see if I can try again. What's the largest canvas size you've worked on? I think 30 by 40. I've learned the art of drawing hands and now can draw most hands with a reference. That's Marble Mango. Oh, that's great. Bella Carter says hello from Newfoundland. Hello. Wow. Okay, I cannot see this. This is, uh, okay. this camera is right in front of my eyes. Sorry. No, it's not your fault. I can do that. Um, Oops, I can I do that? Okay. Sorry, I'm moving the camera so I could record a little bit. Okay, I did not see um, at Rishi Cantum Mahanthi's question. So if you could put it in just one more time, I will read it, okay? What language do you want to learn? Oh, um, I think I'd like to learn maybe Italian, though I wouldn't mind learning Assyrian either. Well, Scott's drawing a landscape right now. So what specific questions, ADHD Ducko, <clears throat> did you have about landscapes? Because he's doing one right now. Scott is the art grandpa of the internet. <laughs> Thank you. Um, doing digital art on my you remind me so much of my grandfather. Oh, Hello from thank Australia. You. It is currently 12, 10 a.m. I have no clue why, um, but I am glad that I'm here. Oh, well, um, don't stay up too late. We Entertainment just bought alcohol-based markers and found out that I don't know how to use them. Ugh. The That's... pencil Scott just showed, I hope you saw that. It was the Faber-Castell pencil. 4H, which is a very hard pencil. Mm -hmm. No, Donna's not really a fan of those. Mm -mm. Let's see. What was the most interesting piece you've ever done? Most interesting piece I've ever done. Um, I think off the top of my head, it's still that movie poster. It was just really kind of cool. Battlebrook says, good morning, Scott and Donna. Hope all is well for you both, for you both and your boys. Good morning, Battlebrooks. How you doing? Um, it's me, G says, good morning, this is my first time on one of your lives, and your art inspires me a lot, and the positive vibes in your videos oh, always make me happy. Oh, thank you. I'm so glad you made it. Hello. Do you prefer a mechanical pencil or a regular pencil? Regular pencil. I love the idea of a mechanical pencil, and for years when I was younger, I would use them, but honestly, um, I just, I get more out of a regular pencil. Scott right now is using a zebra brush pen. There is a link in his bio for that. You can find that. Um, hi, Scott and Donna. What is your favorite show? Um, of, of all time? Yeah, of all time it would be Gilmore Girls. Oh, for me it would be The West Wing. Mm -hmm. Have you ever thought about trying metallic paints? Um, yeah, I, I actually had a a little bit in the test that we did uh, with the Hemi gouache on Saturday. Donna put down some um, metallic paints. Mm -hmm. I like metallic paints, but Scott doesn't really care for them. I like them sometimes, like, like gold or whatever, for some pieces, like an accent. Mm -hmm. What's the best paper for sketching? Oh, any paper. I like any old paper for sketching. Um, what's the most detailed artwork you've ever done? Uh, again, I think it goes back to like that was the the the. Here, it's it's um. <clears throat> While you're thinking, do you consider anime art? Yeah, of course. So imagine this, but it's really, really big. I mean, I painted it 30 inches by 40 inches, like movie poster size. And it took me, we'll say 11 to 12 weeks to paint it. And it was, I would do a different character each day. And it was a really big painting, all in gouache. So this is the most, the biggest, and the most time-consuming
piece I'd ever done. Okay, we got a lot of questions, and some of them we haven't had before. They're really interesting, so let's... My favorite comic book artist is John Buscema. Um, you got my name right. Nobody gets my name right. <sighs> well, I try. Thank you for that. Hi from Alabama. Hello. I'm not one of those people. Okay, I don't know what that means. <laughs> um, are you playing... Oh, what? Um, several people want to know what the next series is going to be. Um, I've been thinking about it. I'm still trying to work that out and, and, and also what book I would do it in and, um, There's a lot of brain power that goes into that, you yeah. guys. It's probably going to take some breakfast and maybe the rest of the day till he figures it out. What, I only have till the end of the day to figure it out? Yeah, because I'm tired of waiting. I'm just kidding. I literally just finished <laughs> just a few days ago. Okay. Um, let's see. Can you suggest a book by which I can learn how to draw Marvel figures? Yeah, yeah. How to Draw Comics the Marvel Way. There is a link in Scott's bio. A book recommendations, art supply recommendations, all sorts of fun things. Um, so if you guys know the video, right now all I'm thinking is Legos. Um, listening to this in my car with my boyfriend as we get back from our Pride weekend. We love your videos, mate. They're so fun to watch, and you've helped me learn so much about art. Thank oh, you so much. Oh, thank you so much. A tea lover. Yay! Well, it's very cute that you're listening to that in your car with your boyfriend, and we say hi to you and your boyfriend. That's bee lover. Your videos inspired me to start watercolor painting. My usual medium was just pencil, but it's been a really fun journey so far. Thanks for making the videos. Oh, my pleasure. I think learning uh, <clears throat> new mediums is really, really fun, unless it's acrylics. Um, they want to know exactly where this is. People are asking where this is. I This was, um, I had walked out of Herod's. Um, where's my... Oh, Love me some Herod's. Yeah, it was stepping right out of Herod's and just looking down one of the streets. Mm -hmm. And it was sunset. The Knights Bridge store. Yes, star is right. Gel pens on black paper would be cool for fireworks, but some people don't have black paper. So you kind of got to make it up as you go. Scott has done digital work. Um, Shannon says that they do a really good koi fish, but are scared to watercolor because I might ruin it. What do I do? Oh, um, if you're really afraid of ruining it, Can you transfer it? it. Yeah. Can you um, scan it? No, I mean, just... Um, well, then they can print it out and maybe try to paint on that. Yeah, or you could trace it onto something else. Mm -hmm. Take a picture of it so you always have a picture of your drawing. Um, have you ever tried painting on black paper? Uh, yeah, I did. Um, it's interesting. Uh, that's what Greg Hildebrandt does. <clears throat> Calarev says, I can't really draw portraits of people from real life, but I think I can paint. But um, I'm just such at sketches. Any tips? Uh, if doing portraits is something you want to do, then you'll learn it. Um, just because you can't do it right now just means that it doesn't come naturally to you. And that's fine. A lot of stuff. Inking didn't come naturally to me. Definitely doing landscapes don't come naturally to me. Um, but your landscapes are really pretty. They're, they're getting there. The thing is, that if you do something enough, you will get better. You just have to want to do it that much. That's all it takes. Mm -hmm. And practice. Do you support LGBTQ? Sorry if it's a weird question. It is not a weird question. We absolutely do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Scott Take just a... finished a series um, in the Hair Journal, and a lot of the pieces from the Hair Journal were pieces that people suggested that were gay, lesbian, bi, pan. I'm, I, there's a million others. But you can go and check out those videos. Um, what's your favorite thing to eat for breakfast? Uh, I like waffles. I like scones. Scott, for Halloween, you should dress up as Bilbo. <laughs> My um, son still wants me to dress up as um, uh, Indiana Jones Senior, you know. You really should. Dr. You, Jones. You could pull it off. I can't do the accent, um, though. Why no more TikTok lives? And then somebody else had seen you on TikTok yesterday. Um, yeah, uh, I can only do one, you know thing and uh i it's, like youtube better it's hard 
to stream across multiple platforms without the proper software, the proper cameras, things, and everything. And for what we have right now, this is where we've chosen to be. Plus, TikTok was not giving out notifications to people. And then I would get banned a lot. And, you would get and banned in the middle of a painting for things, yeah. It was, it was di more difficult. It's a bit more of a toxic environment. <sighs> I'm not sure if I should read this out loud because I think it's funny, but I will. Uh, Branya says, Scott, how do you deal with waking up every morning, looking at the mirror and finding a beautiful, well-proportioned hunk of a man staring back at yourself? <laughs> First of all, I would have to look around the room and wonder where that man was. Yeah. <laughs> and, and wonder if Donna noticed. Very funny. Um, uh -huh. Now that, that's very kind of you. I'm trying to choose a topic for my A-level art course, so I'm wondering how you choose subjects or projects for your sketchbooks, which is an excellent question. Um, that's the problem I'm having right now is, uh, I mean, the, the, the hair journal, just started off with me testing out, uh, you know, a sketchbook, mm -hmm. kind of like what I'm doing right now, mm -hmm. and um, it, it's it 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 slowly <clears throat> became that. But most of the times, I'll pick something pretty generic, like Harry Potter or uh, oh, Lord of the Rings or something. So um, I don't know. I, I do want to think of something else. I don't know. Maybe like, it'll how be. How do you choose things? Is the question. That's based um, on things that you like, based on things that you see. Well, you you here. really have to think. Am I going to be sick of this after the tenth page? Correct. And that's really what I'm doing. That's why it's taking me so long to think of what to do next. Is like, okay, if I'm going to fill out a thirty, forty page sketchbook, what am I not going to be sick of? And that's 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 the hardest thing. But you kind of have to know yourself. Um, what can I use instead of a brush pen for inking? I hope that answers your question. You can use Microns. Microns are good for inking. Um, the cheap travel set was the Cotman. Um, watercolor, the Winsor & Newton Cotman travel watercolor set. Do you ever check out fan art? Yeah, he does check out fan art, but it's getting harder and harder on social media. So if you join the Discord, it's easier for him to check out art there. Hey, Santa. Santa's How are here. you? Hey, everybody. Santa's here. Um, let me... Okay. How was your trip to South... Uh, Southern California. Yes. How did you not remember that one? Huh? I, for some reason, my mind wanted to say South America. Because, I mean, Santa can go anywhere. And... All right. Um... Oh. Darn it. Are you going to pick up caricature again? I may at some point. Do you enjoy other forms of art or just drawing and painting? Um, I'd like to try caricature, uh, not character, uh, sculpture at one point. Santa would like you to do Holidays of the World, which I think is a fantastic Holidays of idea. the World. Yeah, that's a fantastic idea. Interesting. I'm going to make a list. What kind of tape should I use? Oh, don't ask me. <clears throat> the, tapes, the tapes don't like me. It is a building in London. I don't think it's a specific building. Is no tracing a rule? Oh boy. Gosh, why would no tracing be a rule? A rule for what? Losers? <laughs> tracing is what all professionals do. Why should amateurs not do it? Um, what white pen do you use when doing an outline at the end of your painting? Oh, that is a Uniball Signo. And when you were a kid, who inspired you the most? Stan Lee. I mean, other than my mom. Are all the Windsor and Newton sets good? I, I, I can't say that I've tried all of them, but all of the ones I've used so far have been really good. Scott has painted the Winter Soldier. For Marvel Book Club. Yeah, yeah. Um, and 
Bridget is freaking out that you responded to her. Oh, hi, Bridget. Um, let's see. Do you like dogs or cats? Uh, dogs. Um, I am new to art. Are there any tips for sketching? Uh, yeah, just do it a lot. <laughs> You'll get better at it. Tracing is good to an extent as long as you're not stealing someone's art. Well, that's that's not tracing. That's stealing. Um, tracing there's not tracing is a technique. Stealing is a felony. <laughs> you know, there's there's just tracing is a technique. Stealing is a felony. What yeah. <laughs> you must think to yourself. Well, it's like saying driving <laughs> driving is wrong because drunk driving is wrong. Driving is okay. Driving drunk is bad. You know, okay. buying a car is okay. Stealing a car is bad. They're two different things. I get it. It's just, it came out really funny. Sorry. I don't know. Have you tried Zentangles? I've never heard of Zentangles. It's, um, you drop patterns like these. See? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Had to is that like a spirograph kind of thing? Remember we had those as kids? Yeah, it's, no, it's freehand. It's done freehand, I think. Okay. Um, you inspired me when I watched your video about not being good at caricature. You are still a great though. I've always been hard on myself on not being good at drawing certain things, but then it's okay. Oh, thank you. I'm, I'm, I'm glad it, it helped. I just wanted to say you're an amazing artist and you've inspired me to start doing watercolor. Thank Yay! you. Thank you. Show us your watercolor. All right. Um, okay, my art teacher would be so against tracing anything because she said it was cheating. Now I always feel guilty when I do it because it feels illegal. No, no, no. Uh, look, your chances are your art teacher just wanted you to draw because you do need to draw. Mm -hmm. um, but so like I will draw probably 50% of the time and I will trace 50% of the time because I know I can draw it, but I'm on a time limit. So I will trace it. Or a client really wants this to be, to look like their character, so I trace it. That's what professionals do. It's not that we can't do it, but it's the same thing as saying, um, you can only use a hand pencil sharpener instead of an electric pencil sharpener. Well, electric pencil sharpener does the same thing, it just gets it done quicker and more efficiently. That's all tracing is. So you can trace, but if your teacher says, hey, I want you to freehand this, then freehand it. That's the lesson that they're trying to do. But tracing isn't cheating unless the job is, hey, everybody, I want you to do this freehand and then you trace it. Well, I guess then you're cheating on the assignment, but it's not cheating in art. Thank you for the clarification. That's important. Have you ever done inking with a brush and ink instead of a brush pen? I, I tried, but it just takes so long and there's so much. I mean, I, I have ink here and I will use it from time to time, but to do little fine stuff like this, um, I, I that's why I like the uh, the zebra brush pen. I get the same feel without having to dip, 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 and then worry about drip, drip, drips. Cute. Have you ever tried to draw or paint Amy Winehouse? No, I don't she think I've... She amazing in your style. I don't I think, think I've ever listened point. to her music before. Yeah, but I think you did at one point. I remember you painting her at one point. I think you did. Um, so tracing isn't cheating. Yay, I'm so happy to hear that. Whenever I trace something that looks like a blob, any tips? Um, get really good at drawing blobs. Just be like the blob artist. Like, I'm the best blob. No, um, honestly, uh, it, they all start to look like blobs when you're first starting out. That's just, you're just, you're on the right path. You got to get past the blob phase. And that is just doing it so much that you start to see the shapes. You start to see, you know, uh, the form of things. I mean, right now I'm just looking at uh, all of these blobs and I'm just going, okay, this is a cylinder. This is a rectangle. This is a, a circle. Wow, you guys, there's a lot of comments. I'm going to try to get through a bunch of them. Um, it is not wrong to draw with grids. That's um, a grid method is a great yep, not tool. wrong to do that. Um, hope I can meet you in person someday. Um, that would be a you didn't see Scott running in the other direction because <laughs> um, he's very shy. 
Just want to drop by a like and say I love your drawings. Oh, thank you. Uh, it is a street in London that Scott is drawing. And if you could just, when you get a second, show the um, photo reference photo again. Photo reference again? Okay. Because mm -hmm. yeah. several people are asking where it is. I think the hardest part of sculpting is hair. Like whenever I'm doing a bust, I try and put that part off until I have to do it. Oh, well, hair is my favorite, but yeah, it's not everybody's. How does the watercolor you use not dull the original line art? It does a little bit, sometimes about 10%. So that's why you'll sometimes see me going over uh, with my, uh, my inks uh, at the end. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's just clean up some spots. Mm -hmm. Santa says, as adults, a good ability is to unlearn that there's plenty of teachers that bring their own baggage. Yeah. Very true. Very true. It's cheating when you claim the trace work as your own and not as practice. Again, it's not cheating, it's stealing. So again, cheating implies that there are rules. There are no rules in art. So it is stealing because there are laws that says copyright laws. So I just I just want you guys to know the terminology. Mm -hmm. So cheating implies that there are rules to art, which there are none. Mm -hmm. And honestly, you guys, I don't know how many times we've said this in the past, but like all of the artists, all of the famous artists used to trace other works and used to copy yeah. other things and used to use photo reference. That's and how they learned. Standing there to, we did the 60 you know, days of studying the masters. We did that and we learned so much. Yeah, but I'm saying when we did the 60 days of studying the masters, so many of them mm -hmm. would, would go to the Louvre, yep. would go to, you know, the, the galleries and they would just, they that's how they learned. They would copy, copy the masters. The masters. Yep. They would trace it. They would, well, you can't trace it because they would copy, trace copy, it. copy, mm -hmm. copy, copy. And that's how they learned. Yeah. And the thing that they, again, so there's n there's nothing wrong with that. Had they then gone and tried to sell that painting and claimed it, mm -hmm. that there was their original, yeah, that's, that's not, where it's theft. That's a problem, yeah. But if you're trying, if you're copying it to learn, yeah, everybody needs to learn from someone. Yeah, and you can also, you know, uh, if it's like a masterpiece, you know, like you're, you're doing like... Uh, David or Mona Lisa or something, you can you can sell it. Mm -hmm. uh, you can sell your paintings because I think those are so old, and you could say these were done a study I, of you know yes. Michelangelo or study of whatever. Right, but you're specifically saying it's a study of. Yeah, that's what you're I saying. mean, also again, depending on how famous the painting is, no one's going to believe you anyhow. So no, they're like, uh, "This is the Mona Lisa." Kelsey is making a last minute painting for a friend. Wish her luck. Good luck, Kelsey. I'm sure it's gonna come out wonderfully. P. Hurst has been stitching, embroidering for maybe an hour watching this. What do you do to receive, relieve any muscle pain or cramps you've had while your hand is in the same position yeah. for a while? <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I really have not suffered from those things. Um, gosh, that spider just crawled up my arm. Gross, dude. Let me just. Where is it? Right here. Don't put, what are you doing? Oh my God, why did you, oh God, you guys, you dropped it on the floor. Did you kill it? Yeah. Blech, dude. Oh, don't leave his dead corpse on the, bleh. Okay, gross. Blech. I do not do arachnids, okay? I don't, I don't do them. If they don't come up with a lot of 20s and pay rent, they can die. Yuck. Uh, what do you use for inking? Uh, I am using uh, a zebra brush pen. You need smooth paper like A4 or printer paper for pastels. I love you so much. That's oh, good. thank you. Yes, I'm going to try something a little smoother. Someone showed me a, a really cool technique that they did where they put turpentine to it and it turned it into a liquid and they were just able to paint with it. Will you ever try painting with acrylic paints again? Oh, gosh. I don't know. You guys, it's just so funny. You don't even understand how much he hates that. I, I, you know, it's, it's, um, I think it's, there's a part of me that's saying, you know, you know, you, how you can do, you know, you could do this painting pretty well with the technique that you know. But then you're trying a different medium and it just comes out horribly. You're like, oh, if I just had my watercolors, I could make this look really good. 
So it's a little frustrating in that end, but I, I do, I do like trying to learn something new, but sometimes I go to what end? I'm not going to use this professionally. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, Emma's here. Hi, Emma. Who didn't teach themselves to draw when they were younger? You know, I think here's the best part about kids, and I think here's when we transition to adults, and this is my two cents, and you might have another take on it. Everybody encourages kids to draw. They give kids colored pencils and crayons, and kids get all the cool art supplies, and glue, and glitter glue, and all these fun things. And then as you get older, it doesn't become as important, expressing yourself, and, and doing art, and trying new things. And people who really, it's a part of them, it sticks with them, but other people I don't think are, you know, I think it sort of falls away, and that's kind of sad. And I'm one of the ones that was like, I used to love to color with crayons, and when we had our boys, I was like, Oh my God, how did I forget that I love the smell of crayons? Yeah. And now I'm journaling all the time. I stole some watercolors for Scott and I'm up there trying a bunch of different things. And you know, it's, it's fun. Anyway, that's my two cents. Um, do you draw monsters? Um, sometimes. I mean, monsters are really fun to draw. I did some, you know, like old Frankenstein and Wolfman and the Mummy and stuff like that. Don't forget, you've drawn me quite a bit. Oh, yes. A cookie monster. <laughs> <laughs> Cookies? Cookies? Oh, God. Sorry, Thank Santa. Thank you so much for the drawing videos. It really helps me. Do you have your first sketchbook that you did? I do. I do. Um, and I... It's in the garage, but I do. I did tear out some pages and mm -hmm. I put them into a kind of a binder so I could look at some of my favorite pieces. Oh, Stefan says, I want to add stamps to my journaling. I'm so glad I can't go to Michael's. Oh, man. I love stamps. I think stamps are so fun. I have to figure out how to incorporate those with my washi tape and my stickers. I want to inc start incorporating more stamps, but I'm terrified that I would just want all the stamps stamps <laughs> like I want all the washi tape it's very crazy yeah please don't eat crayons even though they're non-toxic not a good idea to eat crayons um let's see this is not an imagined okay this is out of a reference photo oh yeah here's so, the here's the photo for for those of you who are new yeah yeah so I took this picture um we were in, I took my mom to London mm -hmm. and uh, we went to Harrods and we, I stepped out and it was, the sun was just setting, which was a really just pretty picture. So um, I'm trying out this new London. sketch pad. Mm -hmm. From At Your Labs. From At Your Labs. We, got, we opened this up yesterday, remember guys? Or Saturday. I'm sorry, Saturday night. And so I thought, okay, well, what should I do? So since a lot of you've been asking for a landscape, Scott found this pretty picture and thought, oh, what the heck, I'll do a landscape. <laughs> but these do take a bit of time. Gosh, mm -hmm. it's already 45 minutes. Capilon says, can you please try Faber-Castell watercolors and make a review about it? Um, yeah, I guess we could we could try to check them out. <laughs> or guess is by Tana, by that definition, I'm still a child at 25. Please don't lose that. Don't lose that. I think Santa would agree with me. Don't ever lose yeah. that childlike love of looking at the world. I think... I will say this from me personally. Not from Scott. This is just me. The world has been very hard lately, and I have become very cranky is a nice word. Um, but last night I sat in bed, and I read my book for like two hours, and I felt better. So if at 25 years old, drawing with crayons makes you feel good, do it. Because we have to do nice things for ourselves and share ourselves, the nice parts of ourselves with the world. That's how we're gonna make the world a better place. Not by being cranky, trust me, I um, Vishnavi wants to know, do you use cold press or hot press? I can't remember. Um, hot press for gouache and cold press for uh, watercolor uh, and that's because I like the texture for the watercolor to kind of play in uh, for the uh, 
with the with, of cold press, but for gouache, I want to see the texture of the paint strokes. Um, and what kind of paper is this one? This is cold press. Okay. Which is why I'm inking it. I'll do. Okay. And you said this was 50% cotton paper. Yeah, so I don't okay. know how it's going to feel. Uh, I, I figured it'll probably feel closer to the Canson paper. The Canson um, XL notebook paper? Well, or just the, the watercolor paper. The watercolor paper. Yeah. I'm yeah. so bad at cars. I'll do a live where you both, you end on a draw. These people really want to see stick figures, don't they? Mm -hmm. um, let's see. Ben is getting very tempting right now, but I don't want to leave the live. I love watching you draw. Oh. Cars are very hard to draw. How many tips? Well, you're watching them right here. Yeah, I, I, you know, I'm not very good at them. I wish I had some tips, but I, I'm really bad at them. I, I try to break them down into boxes and cylinders and whatever, but. They want to see me draw stick people. You guys are crazy. <laughs> really crazy. Stick figures are so hard. You're funny. Well, thank you for that. Um... So here's the. Let's see. So I, I I didn't want this car there, so that's why I just kind of just made up these other cars. How long did it take to do the pencil sketch from the reference photo? Oh, um, about maybe 15 minutes. So let me, maybe you could explain this to everybody. When you do the pencil sketch based on the photo reference, um, you try to get the... And correct me if I'm wrong. You try to get the overall shapes and the overall layout of things, and then you go back in with the pen to put the details in. Um, it depends on how much time I have. If I have enough time, then I'll try to do as detailed as possible of a, uh, you know, of, of, of pencils too, because you don't want to be guessing with a pen. But if I'm doing a landscape, uh, I usually just I'm trying to make it as um, simple as possible or, or as loose as possible, knowing that landscapes really aren't my thing. And so um, I, I'm, I guess I'm a little more impressionistic when I do landscapes. Okay, KK would like you to draw just with a pencil, just a pencil, and please do, and shading. Bless you. Excuse me, and the shading too. Bless you. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. Excuse me. Uh, yikes. Excuse my nose. Can you refill those zebra pens or do you have to buy new ones when they run out? Uh, you buy new ones. And I've yeah. never run out. Yeah. I always ruin the nib before I run yes. out of ink. Yes, so yes. running out of ink is really never a problem, but the nibs will get dull. A new sketchbook means a new series, right? Yes, we're just trying to figure out what that series is. This is just um, a pad of the paper. Um, so these pieces peel off. So this is not a sketchbook. Yeah. Um, yet, but I promise we, he will get going on something new very soon. Um, let's see. I have paper with pa flower patterns on them. Have you ever used it? Do you know what I should do with it? Um... I don't know. I don't know what you could do with it. Paper with flower patterns is great for journaling. It's also great for art journaling. Um, you can use it for different things. You can paste it down and paste other pieces on top of it. It's really great for that. Steph Nerd says this is one of my favorite streets in London. And Ethan oh, so you know the street. Oh, that's great. And Ethan wants to know what your opinion is on watercolor, uh, Prismacolor. Oh, I love Prismacolor. Um, hold on a second. Ooh, squeeze my nose. Have you ever tried That's my Prismacolor set. Have you ever tried Faber Castell watercolors? I'm thinking no. No. What's your favorite part of the drawing process? The sketching, lining, or coloring? Coloring. I The, the, the sketching and lining is so nerve-wracking for me because I'm going to mess up and things don't look good and whatever. So for me, I just, I, I like it when it's done and 
I could say, oh, okay, okay. It doesn't look horrible. Um, yes, this is cold pressed paper that he is using right now. 50% cotton cold press paper. This is the new pad we got a couple days ago from um, Etcher Labs. Is there anything I can do for a better line weight and all without having a brush pen? Um, I mean, you can go over it uh, a couple times and get your, your harder lines, or you could try uh, dipping a paintbrush into an ink well, you know, into an ink bottle like, like this. And you can use different thicknesses of the brushes yeah. for the different line weights, right? Yeah. Kurt says, yay, finally I can watch your streams again. Good to be back. Hi, Scott. Hello. Um, Marlon says, hey, Scott, I love your videos. They really help me. Also, I love your wife's attitude. She is so nice. <sighs> Hi from Mexico. Thank you. I hope I didn't write anything wrong. You did not write anything wrong. You are adorable. Artsy Sophie wants to know what kind of art they should do. They're motivated by this, but don't know what to draw. Well, what do you like? Red pandas. <laughs> oh, were you asking Sophie? I'm sorry. No, they were saying what kind of art, not what, what the subject would be. Like, um, should they do watercolor? Should well, they? I think you should do watercolors, crayons, or colored pencils, or anything else you want to do, but make a red panda. I'm easy. Several people, and I say several people, have asked um, where you get your inspiration from. Um, honestly, I I am trying my hardest to think about what um, what to do next for the next sketchbook series. Uh, what what you know? So it, it is not easy. Honestly, it it does take some work. Uh, also, for the person who doesn't have a brush pen, my friend Frank Cho, he does uh, like Marvel covers and whatnot. And he uses microns, so he doesn't have a brush pen. So if you'll notice, he uses his microns. Yeah, his line, wow. his line wart, his line weight is not. Um, uh, it doesn't vary like mine. Mm -hmm. His lines are always the same thickness, but he has like five different thickness pens and so he'll use this is a thinner one this is a thicker one that one's thicker etc etc et so um that is another thing you could do if you want to just use that he also uses stuff like cross hatching too excellent note for black and white excellent note um okay the brushes that Scott likes, his favorite brushes, are in his art supply list. And if maybe one of the mods could put that in, that would be great. Um, let's see. Um, can you do a side-by-side -side of the actor versus the character from Lord of the Rings? Oh, that's an interesting take. Seriously, Bridget, I hate Bieber who needs it. I know I can't stand it. Stephner says, I've been obsessed with the UK since I was five. I had a checklist of places in London when I went. <laughs> um, so Stephner and I are just going to move to London. You can stay here in the Hobbit Hall. We're just going to move to London. Okay. We're going to get a nice loft in London. You can have oh. a, little tea, a little tea corner. It'll be very nice. All right. This building I'm not looking forward to. I didn't even enjoy penciling it. But this one right here has so much going on. But that's cool. You could do a series similar to the Master Series, however, it could be about modern artists or influential artists that wouldn't be a part of the Masters, like Warhol, Basquet, or Keith Haring. Interesting. Someone had mentioned doing one uh, with uh, musicians. Yes, we have that too. Watching from the Philippines, I love your work. Learning from your videos, more power. Oh, thank you. Can you do a tutorial on still life? Um, interesting question. Yeah, I, could, I guess I could try. I, I don't. <clears throat> Are you going to color this in the live today, honey? I'm hoping so. Apparently we're only 50 minutes in, so we'll see. We are indeed. Have you ever tried dip pens? Um, yeah, yeah. That's like calligraphy kind of pens and mm -hmm. yeah. The glass dip pens. 
Didn't oh. didn't really work for me, but I love them. Donna liked They're them. They're great for writing. They're great for journaling and trying different colors of ink. That way you don't have to fill your entire um, fountain pen. They're they're wonderful. I used to be a diehard ballpoint pen user. Now when I'm away from my desk, I'm still absolutely 110% a ballpoint pen user. But at my desk, fountain pen is the only way to go. Love them. Tina's been watching the lives the last few weeks and been more motivated and inspired to sketch. And one fine day, I'll sit and ink those sketches, but I haven't been able to color them. Oh. Thank you, Tina. Problematic but lovable. <laughs> I adore that name. That is the greatest. Hello, I'm in camp and I'm late and I can't be here for long, so I hope you all have a wonderful time. Oh, uh, well, good luck at camp. And numerous people are saying um, congrats on being so close to 700. Oh, thank you. Which I got to tell you guys, isn't that crazy? That is really weird. It's crazy. Maybe a country slash continent series, like people from different countries. That's maybe something too, yeah. For the sketchbook, I suggest different animals because I watched the polka video short plus the panda and the tiger. It's so cute. And by the way, seeing you sketch right now makes me grab my sketchbook too. Oh, oh that's great. <laughs> so can you guys see how wonky my <clears throat> how wonky my lines are? Look at look at how bad these lines are. And um that's not on purpose, but I'm not using a ruler and I am not worried about it. Uh, and I think that is something that I'm trying to free myself up with uh, is to try to be a little more comfortable with the art feeling more artsy and feeling more natural. And uh, almost like um, it's my impression of what I'm seeing. So I'm, I'm really trying to take the whole impressionism thing uh, to heart. But my lines are really, even my perspective is off. Uh, but it's okay. I could have told you that from a long time ago. Your yeah. perspective's always been off. Yeah. Especially on who to marry. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you're kind of hosed there, babe. I'm not going anywhere. Sorry, not sorry. Um, no matter how horrible I am. Where can I learn engineering drawing other than art school? Oh, God. I would see if there's anybody who's doing... Graphic design and architecture are two that pop up into my mind. Um, but if there's any websites or YouTube channels of people doing that... There's also, if you just look up technical drawing, there have got to be people who do technical drawing. And actually, one of our mods, um, David does technical drawing for, that's his day job. He does the most beautiful- Mods um, on the Discord. Yes, he's on, mods on our Discord. Yeah. Um, he um, he does the most beautiful digital paintings that you've ever seen. My, actually, if you look at my avatar, that's a painting that he did, but digital stuff during the day. And so maybe check the technical drawings, graphic design and architecture, that might help you. Um, and all of Scott's art supplies, you guys are listed in his art supply list that the mods have put in the chat. Um, and there, he does the Windsor and Newton. Those are the watercolors that he uses and he uses the, uses the professional series and he uses the tubes, not the pans. You should do a history of humanity sketchbook where you draw from ancient times to modern day or perhaps the future. Hmm. Um, Morgan says microns have brush pens as well and they come in a multi-pack and don't move with alcohol or water-based materials. Yeah. Well, and I, and I have tried them. I didn't, they were a little too soft for me, but the, uh, the person who had commented said that they don't use brush pens or don't have brush pens. And they were wondering how they can get line variability, uh, without it. And, uh, but yes, yes. Microns do have that. Um, Bruce says, hey, Scott, your series inspired me and my friends to start our own 60 days of studying the masters. OMG, that's, that's so fantastic. Cool. Can we see it? Can you share with us? I would love to see what you guys are drawing. I would love to see what you picked. I use Microns too, and they're great for line art. I have a set of eight that does include a brush pen. They're waterproof. Something. Oh, that's great. Do you like drawing skeletons? Not particularly. I mean, I don't have anything against them, but... Um... Your cars are lovely. You should do a series of cars. No, thank you very much. Look, I didn't say it. Melinda <laughs> said it. 
Uh, I'm from God. West Virginia. Oh, no. I tested positive for COVID last night, so this is the best way I could think to spend my quarantine. Oh, I'm sorry. Can you do nature paintings? Um, yeah, I could try doing that, too. You should do a journal of Star Wars characters. Yeah, I've been told Star Wars and Marvel. <laughs> Anthony says, oh, my God, loft apartment in London, half a million. That's yeah, okay. We can get recreations of Austin's desk for our journaling, says Steph. Oh my God, that's fantastic. I love that. I love that. It's cool. A whole cabinet full of tea and I can, I can journal on a reproduction of Jane Austen's desk. Oh my God, that just makes me... Do they sell those? I would bet they would sell those. Are you kidding me? <sighs> you okay, honey? <laughs> this is a lot. <laughs> this is Alaya BT's idea, and I think it's a really cool for a sketchbook. Draw explorers in different areas like the jungle, diving in the ocean, in space, etc., etc. Oh, that's cool. I like that one. Um, Hahar is on a bus right now, coming back from their local art store. Before, I only used Prisma colors and alcohol markers, and now because of you, I spent way too much on watercolors. <laughs> Thanks for inspiring me. Uh, well, I hope I didn't. Break the put bank. you yeah, put you in financial ruin. But thank you. Uh, I I look forward to seeing your art. A sketchbook of many animals would be cool and fun. What was your favorite thing to draw as a child, both Cordana and Scott? Spider Man. You know what I used to like to do when I was a kid? I used to like to make those crafts that we would make in school. Like you know, you cut out the feathers for the turkey for Thanksgiving, and then you cut out the little hearts and stuff for. Which I guess kind of makes sense for the like the journaling and all that kind of stuff right now with the stuff art kind of stuff like that collagey things i used to love those i used to love crayons so much i still like crayons aries or bird says let's just agree the world can be a bit disappointing wherever you are yeah sometimes it can be um but i think that's why we have to do our best to make ourselves happy in the interim Ashton would like to know any ideas what I should base my sketchbook on, Scott. Um, I I really enjoy the travel journals, so I don't know if great. that's something that you would want to do. But drawing places that you've been and people that you meet and whatever is really great because it's fun to look back on that and it's your own experiences. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, it's really easy to just draw your favorite movie characters or comic book characters or whatever, but to actually immortalize yeah, the place that you've been. Fill in, yeah, mm -hmm. fill in a sketchbook with your favorite uh, places or your own experiences is really kind of a unique thing. Um, let's see. I don't know what that is. Horology? I have a strange, fasc strange fascination to horology, and that's Alvo. I, I don't know what Does that, that is. Does that something to do with like um, H O R O L O G? For some reason, I'm thinking of Egyptian stuff. I don't know why. I don't know. You could do animals that have recently gone extinct or are about to to spread awareness. That's not mm. a bad idea. Yeah. Everybody's been asking for a long time for an animal journal. Maybe that should be something you should consider. It's definitely something that I have considered. I was just thinking of doing it with uh, Mamadou. Yeah, he might be busy though. Yeah. You might just have to do it on your own. Um, would you try stop motion animation sometimes? I have. Loved it. Mm -hmm. What do you think about doing calligraphy? Not my thing. I wish I could, but it's just I'm really not very good at it. But Donna is. I like it. I like all the pens, all the things. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Grandfather Clock. You guys are cute. Yeah, that's my favorite, Mr. Clock. Um, this is Lou. I have a bunch of little artwork and just got a new sketchbook. Any ideas? Oh, um... <laughs> well, like I was saying, I, I really think doing a, um, a travel journal or your own personal journaling is really, really a good thing. Um, 
Barry um, wants to know if I've ever tried creative journaling or writing a short story. I have, indeed. I actually have. Um, I have several um, ideas that I'm floating around. Um, yes, I like it. I'm almost done inking this. Yay! Just subscribe to your channel after watching short videos and you've actually inspired me to do daily works. I get so caught up in being perfect, I get one painting done a year. Oh, oh. gosh. Um, how long have you been trying? This piece feels like forever, but uh, just in general, about 40-something years. For those of you who asked, the grandfather clock that you heard in the background, um, Scott's dad gave it to him. He inherited that from his dad. Do you like the fictional thrillers? Oh, Donna does. Uh, it depends on what you're talking about thriller. Like I can handle some things like suspenseful. I just finished The Cartographers a few weeks ago. That was really, really good. Um, the Brad Meltzer books are really, really good. Those are political thrillers. I do not like horror at all. And right now I have embarked on Jane Austen July, which is an entire month of reading through Jane Austen. And for those of you who know me, um, it's like heaven on earth, a cup of tea and a Jane Austen novel, so. Uh, let's see. I don't know what's going on there. He has painted Esmeralda before. Oh yeah, she's in my sketchbook a few times. So many times. Hi Scott, I love your content. You inspired me to draw more and I was wondering how you have the motivation to finish a whole series, such as your Lord of the Rings or your hair <laughs> journal. Oh. That it, it, it is, um, you do have to push yourself because I, I definitely um, didn't, there were days where I didn't, and there was some time where I didn't finish the, um, mm -hmm. I didn't work on, on the Lord of the Rings journal. The hair journal, I think I was a little more motivated to finish, um, but um, yeah, it, it is. When you decide what you want to do, you got to think, am I going to like doing this uh, a month from now, two months from now, however long you think it's going to take you to do. So so keep that in mind. But you also had a lot of motivation from everybody here too. Encouragement. Yes, encouragement. And that was helpful. Yeah, it you is. Know? So maybe you have a group of art friends and you all pick a theme and you could just do different things on a different theme. Yeah. You know, which is kind of fun. It's it's fun to have that accountability. Um, it's like a book club, you know, it's fun to have the accountability and you know and and share with each other. I'm thinking of going into architecture or fashion for university so I can continue with the arts. Anything else you'd suggest? Um, no, I would look at uh, careers, like look and see what kind of careers uh, the people can have. So that's really what you're doing is you're gonna you're gonna have to see are these people able to, to make a living doing what I want to do? Yeah. That's the hardest part for an artist is can I make a living at it? <laughs> you yeah. know? And um T Subatsiru says I I earned a technical drawing and architectural engineering degree got the best of both worlds. Oh, that's great. There you go. That's a fantastic. And there's a, there's one idea right there. Um, Art Girl just ordered the Windsor Newton travel kit and is so excited to try it out. Oh, that's great. Um, have an idea about a journal, sketch journal about clothes or about different leaders in history. That's interesting. Yeah. I was just about to start a watercolor portrait when I saw that you're live. <laughs> Don't let us stop you. Grab your piece yeah. and join us. Um, All right, I've got 15 minutes. You 20, can 20 makes minutes. a good brush pen too. Scott, you should do a series where you draw famous war battles. I think the wonkiness of your lines, that's a technical term, adds to your style. I hope so. I hope so. I mean, it's, it's uniquely you. Yeah. Um, let's see. Can you try the zebra fountain pens? I had a bright blue one and loved it, but I lost it. I think you should try to draw a portrait of them. Zebra has fountain pens? Interesting. Hmm. 
God may not want me to do that, but Donna may want me to do that. Just getting into doing line art right now. Happy to say that you're my main inspiration right now. Oh, oh that's thank time, you. Right? Maybe All right. you can have a series of books that were influential from Scott's point of view. Yes, if he had, had read more than two books, that would be a good idea. <laughs> I do have some of my favorite books uh, <coughs> in the uh, in our resources folder. Um, Scott, you've inspired me to continue art, and now I've finished my watercolor sketchbook. Oh, Yay! that's great! So as someone who has never done journaling before, what does that mean? Like, how do you journal? Oh, it's, think of it like a diary, mm -hmm. but it's it's both art and mm -hmm. writing. It can be. It can be both, or it can just be writing. It can be whatever you want. There are people who do um, art journals where they don't write anything at all, and they just do a theme. Like, this page is going to be a tea theme. Then they do stickers, and they do drawings, and they do stamps, and they do all sorts of things. If you Google... Um, there's journaling for writing, there's journaling for art, there's journal, like creative journaling, art journaling. Google those things and you'll see. But um, there's lots of different ways to journal and there's no right way to do it. Um, I have multiple journals going at the same time. Um, I didn't realize how many I had going at the same time, but I have quite a few. Um, so yeah. Yes, Scott did take that photo. Um, think about the sky says, hi, how are you? I just want you to say that I love your drawings. I saw a oh, short you made you. that talked about idols and for sure you are one idol to me. Oh, that's so nice that's of you. Thank sweet. you. Um, yep. A street in London outside of Harrods. The kid friendly channel sent you a tip and no Oh, comments. thank no you. For your next journal, why don't you include a few pages each, including one of the journal ideas being suggested? There are so many journal ideas being suggested. I literally yeah. have to do a spreadsheet for it. <laughs> I'm, honestly. Um, Steph Nerd says, I prefer bullet journaling and to add art to it because I need to sketch. My daughter is getting into watercolor. Can you suggest a set that is good quality and beginner friendly? She's an amazing artist and I want to help her get started. That's Melinda. Yeah, there's a, uh, a Cotman set. There's a link in my bio. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm sure the mods are going to post it, but um, there's a Cotman set that I recommend. It's $25, it's a little travel kit. Um, my... And she can take it anywhere with her. Yeah, yeah. That's the fun part. And Cotman is the student version, so mm -hmm. it won't last, you know, 100 years, um, but it's good to learn with. Mm -hmm. um, Bridget, I don't mean to be rude, but do you know how much longer this slide will go for? I need to go to bed. Oh gosh, um, I can stop now if you guys want me to. Um, I, I, uh, well, thank you, Emma. She put the art supply list in right there. But usually they, so. they last till about 1030 and it's 10, 10, 15. Mm -hmm. So five more minutes or 15 more minutes. Oh, a viewer says I am 13. I struggle with social anxiety disorder and I use watercolor painting as a way of coping. You are my inspiration. Oh, well, thank you. As a, as a fellow socially, socially anxious, anxious person. person. <laughs> I totally feel you. Oh, Marguerite says Michael's had the Cotman set. Oh, that's great. I didn't know that. Can you draw art TikTokers or YouTubers in the one hour journal? Oh, they're all like, no, no. And then Bridget says, how long is it going to go? And then, no, don't stop. <laughs> <laughs> Richard's here and says, good morning. Hi, Richard. Good morning. Until my dog gets woken up by Roger Roger. That's so funny. Please try painting Iron Man. Scott has painted Iron Man. Oh, yeah. I'm opening and watching my first watercolor tubes ever while listening. Thanks for the company. Oh, my pleasure. What's a good tip for beginner artists? Um, draw everything every day. Don't just draw the things you like, um, like your same character over and over and over again. Draw everything. Um, MRP Teeth. Says, Scott, you made me fall back in love with drawing and painting again, and I want to thank you. I was stuck in a couple months rut of not liking my art, but now I've fallen in love with it again. Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you. That's fantastic. All right, um, time for blow dryer. Yeah, the video goes in and out of focus because Scott's got his hand in the way and stuff like that. Oh. It just does that. Blow dryer. <laughs>
done a journal um, using text cut out from newspaper pages. Oh, that's great. Um, look up Mind's Eye journals. They are spendy, but I love journaling and leather books. Liam says, Scott, have you ever tried squirrel hair brushes in contrast to the sables? No, I have not. And, and actually, I, I prefer the cheap synthetic stuff over the sables, but uh, I'm weird like that. I got Tina got their first kneadable eraser a few weeks back, and it's been really useful. But somehow I end up playing with it like a clay stress ball yep. or something while doing other tasks. Is it just me? Nope, I do uh -uh. It too. Nope. We all come down here while we're talking to Scott, grab the kneaded eraser, and play with it. All of us do it. I would love to see some of your calligraphy. Oh my gosh, I am not good at it, but I like it. Uh, what gouache brand do you use, honey? Um, I use Winsor & Newton unless I'm using, unless I'm doing um, acrylic gouache, in which case I do whole bean. Blow dryer. So this is what I loved about this photo was... Um, Everything, let me pause this. Everything was in uh, shadow, because it was sunset, except for these buildings in the back, which are just getting the last bit of light. And so I'm gonna try to push that. So if you notice, I did everything in kind of a purple, except for these, which are in uh, the warm colors. Um, hi Scott, I recently got some watercolor pencils and I'd love to hear your opinion on watercolor pencils and I, I don't know if you use them. I did, I did a video about it mm -hmm. if you want to look it up. Yep, is it in the Art Hacks? Yeah, it should be in the yeah. Art Hacks folder. Check the Art Hacks playlist. Small Waving Bell says, Bear says, LOL, Scott is the only reason I got pens and started inking through the liner. Mm. Have you guys heard of Art Fight? I've heard people say it before, I've never watched it. Mm -hmm. well, do a 50 States Journal. We have not been to all 50, but that would be a thing. Yeah, I don't know. I love your hair journal and Lord of the Rings journal. Hope you do Star Wars. Did you ever do a combination of gouache and watercolor? Good question. Yeah, sometimes you'll see me add gouache mm -hmm. on top of my watercolors. You know, especially if I, there's a piece that I need to get... Um, some that's not working. I use gouache to fix a piece sometimes. Hamuda says, can I call you grandpa because I'm nine years old? Yes, you can. You're so cute. I love your hair journal. Thank you. I've started to blow dry while watercoloring, but I'm finding it seems to dry weird. Any tips there? Um, it, it might be, you might be just pushing the, uh, the water around, in which case it might be creating some weird effects. But I, I think then it's just a matter of controlling where the water goes or not putting as much. Or just waiting. Sometimes you got to wait for the water to just kind of sit. Um, Scott has, definitely has tips for watercolor. Go back through his art, <clears throat> excuse me, art Hacks playlist. And that will tell you, um, you'll see a lot of fun things in there that you can, can look at. Blow dryer. Oh. I think I want to make the sky a little more purple too. Pavithra says, at school our teacher asked us to write down the name of a person who was your inspiration and all I could think of was Scott Christian Saba. Oh. So I just wanted to say thank you for being who you are. Oh, That's thank so you. Sweet. That is so sweet of you to say. Um, a viewer has a very serious problem. Okay. I want to get up and get my sketchbook, but my dog is sleeping on me and I don't want to wake her up. You're not what allowed. What do I do? Sorry, you're stuck there until the yeah. dog wakes up. That's, that's the rule. You do not wake up a sleeping floof. Nope. Mm -mm. Let sleeping dogs lie. That's Blow dryer.
OCPD was always really bad to the point where I stopped making art. But thanks to you, I was able to get back into watercolor. Aww. Thank you so much, Scott. And there goes my... <clears throat> Thank you very much. That was very sweet. It's, you know, it's... It's little things like that that make sitting here um, worthwhile. That you guys are enjoying your art again, that you're enjoying trying new things, that you're hanging out with us on this weird morning, you know, where it looks like it's gonna rain, and at least where we are, and, um, you know, one, sometimes you get out of bed and you wonder, you know, if it makes a difference. And uh, Anyway, uh, Meredith wants to know if you've ever considered photography. That reference picture is gorgeous, if not um, for the sake of drawing it later. Oh, thank you. No, I, I love photography, but um, it's, it's, um, <laughs> I, I, I don't want to sound in any way like I'm demeaning photography because I love it, but I feel like I just took a picture. I didn't do anything, you know, like I feel like, you know, I, I, I all I did was I stood there and took a picture. I didn't make it. And so that's why I feel like I need to paint it. Uh, to feel like I've at least participated in some way, but I know the art of photography, and I'm. I guess there's just a part of me that doesn't feel like it's enough uh, for me. Um, like I like I didn't. I took this picture. Um, I don't know. It's weird because we live in a world where everybody has a camera and everybody's taking pictures of everything, like their dinner and whatever. Um, I feel like uh, if I was to do it. Um, I couldn't call myself a photographer because I'm just another person taking a picture of what I see. Whereas if I went to school for photography, if I studied it, um, I really learned about it, I, I might feel like I could do it. Did you ever talk about to Ellie about um, the blow drying thing? I don't think we ever really nailed that. I said it might be the water. Too much water? Yeah, sometimes you just have to let it sit. Like if I was to blow dry this right now, it's really wet. Mm -hmm. It would it would just so. Okay. Is that you a know. technical term? Yeah. Okay. We gotta do it with the hand gesture though too. I did the hand gesture. You just okay. couldn't see me. Yeah. Um. T. Subatsiru says, I feel the same with photography. I have a unique style that I use with a wide angle lens, but for the most part, I have thousands of photos to use as reference. Yeah. Um, photography is capturing the moment, being there at exactly the right time in the right place. Sometimes you just get lucky. Yeah, yeah. Someone said that on my Facebook that no one needs to learn how to paint anymore or create portraits since apps can do the job these days. That made me sad. That's not true, though. I mean, apps apps can do a great job at it, but you don't have to... Look, people said the same thing when Photoshop came out. Mm -hmm. And studios embraced Photoshop, and it really, you know, like doing movie posters became a thing of the past for artists, you know? But there are still some people who are making a living doing it. There are still some people who are still hired to do it. Um, Have you tried the Loomis method of um, sketching portraits? I, I remember reading about it, but I never really got into it, no. I think, and this is just me, I think different, I think photography is just a different medium of art. That's my two cents. Everybody has a camera, but there are people who have a really, really good eye for photography. I, I, I think- I just think that's- I that's, think photographers, just like painters or illustrators, are artists. Mm -hmm. And photography is just their medium. Mm -hmm. But the people who are professional photographers, they know apertures and f-stops and, and this and that and so many cool yeah. things that I, don't have the interest to go and learn. I just sometimes take good pictures. And I think it's the equivalent of 
yeah. photographer who will every once in a while do a little watercolor portrait and it looks really good because they're an artist as well. Um, yeah. But they wouldn't call themselves a watercolor artist. Um, Hawk McBlake says, photography is capturing a moment, being there at exactly the right time and exactly the right place. Sometimes you just get lucky. Yeah. Um, oh. Cordula says you're an inspiration. Thank you so much for all your videos. My children enjoy your videos as well, and I think they help them to just go for it and not overthink it too. Oh, much. that's great. Thank I you. Love that. I'm so happy that you let your kids do art. That makes me happy. Um, have you ever tried out any Crayola products? If so, what's your opinion on them? Um, I have not tried out anything um, along the lines of the paints, just the crayons. you ever run out of ideas yes i'm sitting here trying to think of what to do for uh my next set series of painting um hey i love your movie oh thank you very much the mods are friends of ours and that's why they know everything maybe this can be your street slash building sketchbook yeah maybe but it's a it's a it's not a sketchbook, unfortunately. It is a, uh, um, what is it called? A uh, block, an art mm -hmm. block. Thank you for saying bloater so I can turn my volume down. Yeah, that's <laughs> why I do it. Scott has never used a glass pen, but this inks. Oh, Tina wants to know, how well is the 50% cotton paper taking the watercolor? It's taking it okay. You know, it, it, it's, you can feel when you do these things that it sits on top Whereas the watercolor, uh, the 100% the, the cotton paper soaks it up. So this is soaking it up 50%. It's just, it, it feels more like the, um, not as bad as, it's better than the, um, the Canson. Have you ever tried making a drawing using sidewalk chalk? Uh, on the sidewalk, yeah, with the kids. Out of all of the art experience, what was the most challenging thing to paint or draw? Um, I think anytime I do landscapes is challenging. I don't, I don't really like doing them that much, so I think that's always the most challenging thing for me. Um, okay, I've probably got another hour of working on this and we are at the hour and a half mark. So um, what I will do is I will let this sit and... Um, this person says Mods is starting a blow dryer called Allowed. <laughs> we will have blow dryer t-shirts soon. Very soon. Um, for those of you who were here for the Hemi gouache test, I dabbled a little more, I messed around a little more with... Um, Can you tell people what your pronouns are real quick? Oh, I'm a uh, he, him. Have you drawn with a candle grip before? I've never heard of a candle grip. Yeah, neither. We have not been to Scandinavia. So this is Klaus from the Umbrella Academy that I was playing around with, with the Hemi gouache. And you see, I added some colored so pencils. What I painted in the upper left -hand oh yeah. Corner. So Donna started the whole thing. This is Donna's contribution, and so I finished the rest of it with that uh, iridescent color, and then I just added some fl some flowers, some purple flowers over it. So it's kind of got a cool little sheen to the background, which is kind of nice. But not my favorite. You know, um, I think I'm still a little rusty with. Uh, gouache but it was kind of fun scott uses windsor and newton watercolors we do not currently have a patreon and we are in the united states and people would like to know how do you do the shadows how do you tell where the light's coming from well um generally it's based on what i'm looking at so uh if i'm looking at We're going to not do another hair journal. We'll probably move on and do something else knowing Scott. He likes to change things up. So if I'm looking at this, um, 
you like 21 Pilots? Yeah, I like some of their songs. You're listening to Mulberry Street a lot. What is your, while you're doing that, what's your favorite watercolor sketchbook to use? I need to buy one because I just finished my old one. Well, uh, for a cheap one, I would say it's uh, the Canson XL, which is, is in our, um, our supplies list. Uh, the more expensive would be either the Etcher's Perfect Sketchbook or the Be Creative one. Do you like the block or the sketchbook? Yeah, yeah, I do like blocks. Uh, I, I, I prefer the sketchbooks for keeping sketchbooks. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, uh, the blocks are great if you're doing a single portrait. Mm -hmm. So you see the light. Here, I'll shine it up. Mm -hmm. There's my light. So you got your light source mm -hmm. is hitting here and it's casting a shadow. So you're seeing a little bit of the light still here, so my shadow is really kind of kicking in here. And then it's doing that. And so really all you're doing when you're looking for light sources is you just, I mean, when you're doing shadows, you gotta know where the light's coming from and then know that the solid object is going to be blocking that, uh, that light, and that's where you're getting your shadows from. So that, that's all it is. So if, if you have a ball and the light is over here and it's shining this way, then you're going to get a shadow on this side and it's going to cast a shadow like that. Same thing, same ball lights over here shadow shining this way you got that now if the balls in front of us you know like like we're if we're the light I'm sorry the light is with us then this is all gonna be lit and then the shadow is gonna be behind all right Jesse would like to know what's on your palette right now color names and brands uh, all in the um, in my art supply list. I put all, there's 12 colors. I don't even really use all 12 colors, but yes, it's all Windsor and Newton, and I I literally put a link to all of them so you can get the exact same colors. I use the same 12 colors all the time. Um, I always have a problem with putting my head as close to the paper. Any suggestions on how not to put my head close to the paper? Why is it a problem? I mean, is it because someone's telling you that's a problem, or are you hitting your your eye with your pencil? Um, is your nose smudging the paper? Uh, you know, if it's working for you, great. Uh, but you can get as close to the paper as possible. Whatever makes you happy is all that matters. Um, NR says, "OMG, that's so good! I was here for your honey gouache live, and you really improved it." Oh, thank you. Thank you. He noodled a lot. I noodled a bit, yeah, yesterday. I woke up and just pulled out the gouache, but I gotta do, I'm gonna try to do a video on the Hemi gouache today, and I'll post it. Challenge yourself to a landscape journal. Uh, yes, I did post about Technoblade. Uh, there is, go to the, I think it's the community section. What's the difference between an art block and a sketchbook? Um, a sketchbook, you can turn the pages. Um, you can't turn the pages on an art block because they're all glued together. Mm -hmm. Which is great because you don't have to tape it down. Uh, all right, I'm going to let you all go. Have a wonderful July 4th. And uh, we will see you on Wednesday. And we'll um, be back here on Wednesday. Yes. Thank you all for. You should visit the Philippines if you run out of ideas. Yeah, that would be fun. It is on the list. The big list of. Oh, Steph Nerd. Okay, we'll have a tape peel for you. She misses the tape peel. And oh, Bethany thank you Primrose all. Put our website in there, the sofart.com. You can find all the links to everything in that. All the links to the socials, everything's there. Yeah.
Bye, everybody. Have a great rest of the day. Thanks for being we'll with us. We'll see you on Wednesday. Morning.